sell up half shark, you know. <laughs> was it you pushing the Krasak? Huh? Was it you that pushed Krasak or I somebody else? I never pushed anyone. I don't, I'm not pushing. You're the peacekeeper. I'm the peacekeeper. I just said leave it to the fighters. There's no need to diss fighters. Let, let the fighters do the talking. It's down to them to build. But then again, it's all like me saying that. <laughs> My dad's the greatest at it, isn't he? But his brother you, he's seen the other fella talking to Tyson and not just talking shit, so he's not down to him, is he? I think Hugh needed. Was it Hugh that needed fell off the stage? <laughs> yeah, he fell off the stage. If that's on camera, you can wind him up about that later. But all the talk he's done, I think Krasak, I just spoke to him and he said they predicted this would happen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, man, go ahead, Shane Garrett. He's done that every interview. Yeah, I'm going to do that every time I see you then. What, 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 what's, what's he predicted? He basically said they knew that it'd kick off at the Wayne, there'd be some pushing and shoving um, along them lines. Really means that we've only got 24 hours, haven't we? A bit more than 24 hours left. And that will shut everyone up. Johnny Nelson said yes. If Fury comes in at uh, 250, he gets knocked out. It's 260, I understand. 266. Johnny Nelson and everyone else was had these uh, predictions and had, the, uh, and had this educated boxing opinion about the matter. I'm going to open their eyes tomorrow and realise how good Tyson is. Really, there's no debate about Tyson and Britain and, and the boxers what's around there. We'll see. We'll see. If he gets flattened. We're all going to look like idiots. But when he wins, and when he wins very easy and looks sensational doing it, he's hands down the greatest fight ever to come out of Britain. But we'll see. Without me being arrogant, that's what I truly believe, and that's what he's going to get tomorrow. How do we diffuse this situation between yourself and, uh, not between your dad and John Fury, uh, sorry, between your dad and Carl Frotch? How do we diffuse this situation? I'm interested of Carl Frotch or my dad. Yeah, leave them do what they're doing. Carl Frotch, all. No disrespect to Carl Fratch, he's got a channel with hardly no followers and he's mentioning an old 55-year-old man, or a 60-year-old man. Great world champion what he is. You know, that's what, that's what it's boiled down to. You know, it's a pretty much, it's degrading of Carl Fratch's name to do what he's doing. Taking heed of a 60-year-old, just old man, what really, just a normal old fella. No different than anyone in the crowd. But he's, every channel he does and every no, all the numbers he gets, he's mentioning me dad. So it's degrading on Carl Frotch's name. The Carl Frotch I know, but I don't know what, what, I, what the picture it gets painted. Yeah, it's, 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 um, it's not good on his behalf anyway. You had some sun today. You looked very tanned. Yeah, yeah got a bit of sun. We're, we're Saudi, aren't we? We're right. Saudi, yeah. You look like a local, mate, but all the best. Yeah. Um, all the best to your brothers. Well, looking great. All right. Okay, brother, take care.